Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be learning how to easily speed paint parliamentarian pikemen uh, with ease and achieve stunning results that will hopefully impress your friends and fellow, fellow hobbyists when you're at the tabletop. So these are the Warlord Games epic pike and shot uh, miniatures and I'm doing these ones as I said in parliamentarian colours, the stereotypical colours. So we're starting off with the trousers in model colour chocolate brown. Um, again, a lot of the artwork and things that I've seen, they tend to have uh, dark trousers. However, also the more you sort of dig into the history of the period, um, you find out that actually there weren't really so many uh, specifics or specific colours for one side versus another. Uh, next we do the tunics and they're going to be in game colour leather brown and so as I said this is that sort of stereotypical parliamentarian tan colour um, but yeah again there were regiments on both sides which had tan there were regiments on both sides that were in red uh, some were blue some were white um, yeah you've got whatever colours you want to paint your army there was most likely a historical regiment or unit that was that colour so within fairness uh, do whatever you want um, I'm just going more for that stereotypical tan colour for my parliamentarians and more of a stereotypical red uh, for the royalists although there will be a bit of variation um, I can't remember I think they were from Newcastle there were some regiments who wore white um, and are quite well known so well known that I can't remember who they are but I'm pretty sure that's the case so I will do a few white uh, regiments as well just to give a bit of variation Uh, next we're doing the, the metalwork, so the pike tips, and again it's just game colour silver. Uh, it's a nice silver colour, nice metal colour, but it is quite bright, so then when we dull it down later with our washes, um, you can then use the same colour again to do your highlighting, so rather than needing to have multiple colours, or uh, multiple silvers, you just use the one. So with the pikemen they do have, or a lot of them have, helmets. So we're also touching up the helmets, and they've got carasses, so I'm just doing the carasses in the silver. You could probably do some of them in black. Um, I've seen different miniatures painted in different ways, where uh, some of them have sort of heraldry and things on them. Not sure if that's accurate or not, but again, if you can see it somewhere, go for it. And this picture kind of shows a few different colours, so again, yeah, as I said, go for it, you like. Uh, the sashes and the socks, uh, I've gone with game colour Arctic White. And I find this colour just really um, stands out nicely on the miniatures. But when you're doing belts and sashes, um, just take your time, use a fine detail brush. Don't put too much paint on it. Uh, be prepared to do a couple of passes rather than try and do it all in a single pass. But there is something quite relaxing I find about actually painting all of the, the belts and the straps. I found that a lot with the, the British Napoleonics. It's kind of stressful but at the same time it's quite relaxing. Um, I found these guys slightly easier to do than those, um, so yeah, it was more relaxing than anything. So yeah, as I said, just take your time. Um, even with the socks, you don't want to splat paint in places that you don't really want it to be. This so just creates another job to go back over. Uh, but these are very quick and easy miniatures, so if you do make a mistake, it's easy to rectify. Now for the shafts and muskets, uh, we're going to use model colour chocolate brown. It's quite a nice dark, deep 
uh, sort of rich colour. And just be careful when you're going because you don't want to put brown over the top of the white that you've already done. Um, I'm not sure which colour would really be best to go first because you could easily put white on top of brown or brown on top of white, uh, whichever way you're going. Uh, possibly the brown should go first. Um, yeah, pro probably brown would be your best, uh, best bet. Paint that first and then do the white second. But, as I said, it's quite easy to do it whichever way you fancy. But yeah, it's quite an interesting period. I mean, the whole of the Thirty Years' War and the English Civil War. Um, I think it's an area of history that there's probably not really enough made of. Uh, because it is a time which really shaped the way that the world was going to go for the next several hundred years. Uh, but you don't really hear much about it at school, unless you're interested specifically in the subject. Um, yeah, you don't really hear much about it. Movies tend to leave off, TV tends to leave off. Um, so that's another good thing, uh, which I'm thankful for Warlord Games choosing this period, because it is hopefully going to get more people into the the period and into a bit of history so yeah good on them uh, so this is tamia color for the flesh um so nice and easy talked about it before just use a little bit of water to keep it moist uh, so it won't clump uh, the black wash um i've got another video on that so just watch that video to find out how i make it and then we get to the the final touch-ups on the miniatures so again what i tend to do is just use the same colors as before um, <clears throat> yep, so whatever I put on the miniatures first time round, I just go back and use that the second time round. The wash will have already darkened down the original, so now we can go back and use the same colour but as a highlight. And I don't waste too much time on them, I just try and figure out which pieces need to be done to make them stand out, and yeah. Especially as I've said in other videos. Uh, because of the fact that you've got the two ranks, front and rear, the rear of the front and the front of the rear, you don't need to put too much effort into because of the fact that they're going to be basically concealed from view, um, so it can save you a bit of time. Uh, just do the areas that you're actually going to see. But if you're a bit of a, a perfectionist, uh, then I understand that you're going to want to dive in and do them all to the highest level. <laughs> But overall, again, I really enjoyed painting these. They are good quality miniatures, and I can't wait to have a whole army of them laid out on the table, ready to have a good battle. I think the the colours do the that stereotypical uh, parliamentarian force pretty well. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with how they've come out. I hope you enjoyed looking at them too, and I hope the video is useful to you with your armies. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and please also leave some comments below uh, regarding what you'd like to see next. Anyway, keep wargaming and I'll see you next time.